another fabulous Monday. I'm so glad to be here. I'm tired as heck, y'all, but guess what? We're going to walk this thing out, and we're going to talk about people, and we're going to talk about ourselves, and we're going to have a good time, and it's going to be just like it always is. So thank y'all so much for being here, and uh, I appreciate everyone for remembering, because I'm on this special time right now. I got to get my schedule back, guys. I can't wait till I do, and it's coming soon, so just sticking there for a little bit longer. We'll go back to what we used to, and guess what, though? We got a whole new season of SB Nation coming. So I want y'all to get ready for that. I really, really do. But y'all know what y'all know what time it is. I gotta invite my co-host up so we can get this thing going like we normally do. <laughs> Hello, Black Men. What's going on? Oh, oh, just so much of everything and all of nothing. How you doing? Man, I'm doing fantastic. It is so good to see you tonight. It is always good to see Security Boss. Hair back, laid over her shoulders, pretty smile. Got the nice watch on today. Got to just pulled up to the desk. I feel like Wonder Woman again, you know. But you know what else I want to say? What? That makes all this possible. Mr. Mr. Boss. Mr. Boss is so good to know that you're in the background, holding it down, dealing with it. I love it. Give me a bomb drop. Give me the bomb drop. Yeah, let's have a bomb yeah, so good to be in the house tonight. So good to be here tonight. And we're back. <laughs> so listen, you had a good day. I did. I did have. Well, no, not really. Because <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> That's so funny. You started. Yeah. I, I, uh, uh, no. Um. Actually. Yeah. No, you know. I, <laughs> I have. So for Father's Day. I got two Rottweilers for Father. Oh, I know. Yeah, they grown Male up. and female. The female passed away yesterday. No. Yes. She ended up catching, what do you call it? The stomach disease that dogs get. That's real, real, uh, I mean, real, like they can really get it. Yeah, um, I hear what you're talking about. It be, it's always on the court show. That's There's there's Sue a lot of times for that. Am I right yeah, about that? Whole, pull up, pull, I forgot the name of mm-hmm. it's called. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so she got really, really sick. And then I took her to the vet. My wife and I took it to the vet and then she uh she was just we brought her back home and she's just got really, really sick. So we took her back and they had to put her to sleep. So um yeah, they said once the dog gets that, it's a 80% chance they don't make it. So oh. I, it's very contagious. So I had to keep not for humans, but for dogs. So I had to get our brother away from her. Uh, he's been away from her probably four or five days. Okay. And now He's just sitting around by the back door waiting on his sister to come in the house like he normally does. He's not, you know, they eat together. They sleep beside each other. They go out and play together. And now he by himself. He's looking for, he can't find him. He's just been sad and laying down all day. Oh, wow. So, that yeah, is- but other than that, you know, that's life, you know. I mean, wow. it happens. Yeah. Well, everybody, we all know how we do this. If this is your first time at SB Nation, y'all know we read all super chats. Anything over the nine dollars and ninety nine cent, you get the money line, money line. and it goes oh, like this. Give me mine. Going up, need no decline. Money line. I'm gonna run it every time. Give me mine. Going up, need no decline. Yeah. yeah. And of course, we thank you for all your support. Anytime you give to SB Nation, Black Man Unfiltered, of course, we appreciate everything. And we love the fact that you all are in the comment section. When you're coming into the live, make sure you give us a thumbs up. We appreciate all you do and continue to do so. We love this. We love this. So, Black Man, before we get started, let's say hello to a few people. Absolutely. And um, and, um, we're going to get started now here. Meg Tai. Mmm, Megtile by Logic. Hello, how are you? Smash that like button. I agree. I agree. I agree. Lady Nava. Navea. Navoa. Navoa. Navoa in the field. There we go. <laughs> Miss Navoa. I'm just going to call you Miss Navoa. We're going to leave the lady out for a little bit. Then I get the Navoa right. Then we can go back and add the lady. So forgive me. <laughs> you know who I'm talking to. And we love the fact that you're here and we love you too. So thank you so much. Dr. Steele. Thank you so much for being here. I think the fact is I concentrate on it too much. If I just let it roll, it's almost like, well, I can't say that right now. But anyway, Miss Barnes, how are you? She looked lovely. Thank you. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> I put this stuff together for y'all. Y'all see me. No, that's a lie. 
I try to put it together all the time, but I do especially think about you guys and try to be impressive for you all so y'all can keep coming back and, and hanging out with me and enjoy what you are looking at while you're looking and the, the, what you hear. Me and Black Man do this so we can make sure y'all have a good show. Exactly. We want to give you all a good show and want y'all to come back. So we do our best. So thank you so much for that. Uh, Jedi Mike, hey, how are you? Clement Gray, what's up? How you doing? Clement, you called me out a few weeks. I'm still on that CP time, but I'm getting better though. At least I, <laughs> well, here we go. At least I was on time for the CP time. Mm. So can I have some props for that? Can yeah. You get some props for that black man? Yeah. Listen, I'm glad because if not, you know, what about me? <laughs> what we know podcast. Hello. How are you, sir? Did I miss you? Ah, oh, forgive me. I didn't mean to, but glad you're here. Thank you so much for being here. Is it anyone else that I missed, could have missed initially? I, listen, as the show go on, y'all know that when you're coming in, I'm going to give you the shout out. Hope everybody's having a good time. Me and Black Man, we're just going to have fun with this like we like to do. We're going to get serious, too, because we can do that also. Absolutely. And you look good with me. You look good with me, sis. Thank you. <laughs> you good with me. All right. So listen, but I like that CP time. I love that. So of course, when y'all say something that is real, you know, sharp, I love it. So y'all, it sticks out in my head. I use it again later on. Believe it or not, I'd be using it. So we're going around the world today, but we're going to also talk about some comments that SB got and mm. also... A video that I put out there. We're gonna talk about that too, because Black Man, you go help me out, right? Absolutely. Mr. Boss is my husband. He can't really help me, you know, because right. he kind of, you know, he on this side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need somebody not so much on the opposing side, but you have a brain that's totally different. That is, you know, non affected by security boss. You know what I mean? Exactly. So you can give us your positive input on the situation, right? But before we get started, oh, I hear some terrible news. A lot of it. Uh oh. First thing though, I want to share is this: Nene Leaks, Nene and Greg Leaks. Greg Leaks has passed away a few years back. I, you know, years go by so quick. But a few years back, Greg passed away. But y'all know Nene Leaks of um, what is it, Housewives of Atlanta? Her son Brent, twenty three years old. Y'all, he suffered um a heart attack and a stroke. Yeah. Congestive heart failure and a stroke. He gone? 23 years old. He did? No, he didn't die. He's expected to recover, but at 23? <sighs> congestive heart failure and a stroke? 23? Wow. wow. He must have had a heart condition, an undisclosed or an undiscovered heart condition at birth or something. Well, that's not what mama said. Mama said she don't know what, where it came from. My mom is saying that she has no idea. She said, often you think when these things happen, the first thing the doctors think, drug use, yep. uh, alcohol, whatever, you know, different things, like you said, you know, but nothing, nothing as of right now that she was willing to discuss. She wow. she put it out there like it was nothing. This, wow. this 23 year old's heart was just not good at the time. And he had a stroke. Right. But they did say, she did say, um, sometimes, you know, they, they did give him an HIV test. They also gave him a COVID test. And um, I think both of those came back negative, but they still were branching out on illnesses of that nature mm -hmm. because this was so unlikely to happen to a 23 year old. Not, of course, that it couldn't, but hey, 23. Mm. So. We're going we're gonna to pray for him and make sure that he and hope and pray that he gets better. But yeah, that was, that, that was shocking to wow. hear. Yeah. 23 wow. years old. Wow. So I'm sure we're going to hear a whole lot more about that story. A yeah, whole yeah. lot. 23? In the prime of your life. Black man, I know. Your heart? I mean, I know he was scared to death. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? He was scared. Oh, yeah. He was... and. Yeah. Yeah, he, that's bad. Probably walking along and felt that pain. It's like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Yeah. I don't know. She um she act she acted as though, of course, he wasn't with her, but like she was called and they found him and it was not good. Was wow. not good. Not good at all. That's bad. 
That's bad. Listen, uh, Clifford Gray said, Black man, tell me about that picture of that girl who looked like a man. What, <laughs> what picture you got? <laughs> Black man, what picture you got of a girl that looked like a man? <laughs> I don't know. Remind me. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't Black know. Man, tell SB about that picture of that girl that looked like a man. But we're going to get that. Think about it, Black man. <laughs> think about it. I can't wait to see it. I know it's the best. The next thing is this. What you think about Tom Brady and Giselle? Um, I think she's full of it. You think she's going to leave for real? For real? If she does, she's an idiot. You knew uh, the insider said that uh, an insider that's in Tom Brady's camp says that she wants him to stop playing football. Absolutely. You, you know this man is what he loves to do. He's been doing this for over 20 years. And exactly. He's, and, but think about it, though. He's been doing it over 20 years, like Drew Brees. Drew Brees did it for t- almost 20 years. His arms started to give out. He couldn't even get the ball down to the – he couldn't even throw 15 yards. So he let the game go. Tom That's Brady, not- at yeah. 45 years old, he's still the top in the top three quarterbacks in the league at 45. I think she's getting nervous, though. Don't you think she's getting a little nervous about those head injuries? Yeah, that maybe. Often suffer, but he's very elusive. He does really well. He does. He got a good mm-hmm. offensive line. If he doesn't, they, they'll put him down, though. I've yeah, seen him. They, yeah, they will. It's, it, that comes with the game. I think right. that's what's happening because the older you get, the more fragile you are. And he agreed to it. I know he agreed. I know <laughs> somewhere along the line he agreed to do it. And he has now pulled out of his agreement. Um, this is this is serious because he did retire. I know this is serious. This is serious. This is getting serious because it's, it, it's going beyond what you said you were going to. It's going beyond the football and what yeah. you said you're doing now is going into deception. And I don't care what you think. Right. Because he did retire. Spent time. He said, I was just sitting around the house. But my thing is this. I think all players that retire that are great, that has made multi multi million dollars doing a sport that they love to do and they're going out on top and they know they can still perform at a high level. You, we have to find, you have to find some help for that person because now they got to get used to sitting at home every day with no job, sitting on their butts, not getting up at four o'clock in the morning to do runs, not going to study tape. They just sitting around just looking. But black man, it ain't got to be like that. Anybody would have him as a sports analysis. You know that analyst, excuse me. He could go, he could go tomorrow and take Stephen A's job. You know that. Right. And he just signed it. He did sign a deal, though, uh, with Fox. Uh, let's see. Fox deal. I got it right here. Pull it up. Pull it up for you. He signed a Tom Brady gets a monster deal with Fox when he retires from football. They already signed him. Tom Brady gets 10 year, three hundred and seventy five million dollars from Fox from Fox Sports to be an analyst. The highest deal in sports analyst history. Money. <laughs> Ten you know years, three hundred and seventy-five million, just to talk. I know what we need to do. We need to write old Tom a letter and let him come out there on the football field with you, down there in the boons, and, and work with these little boys. I bet he'll yeah. find that he would have some excitement with the eight-year-olds. What you think? Yeah, I think he would too. Yeah. Yeah, he won't have no problem no more, right? He'll be he'll be just about done with football. Yeah. It has to always be a part of him. So he need to, if he's not playing, he needs to be a part of a some type of way that's not. Playing. Well, yeah. doesn't he have a son? He has two. And they're not. She probably wouldn't even let them get on a football field though. Probably not. Oh wow! So listen, I they gonna she ain't going nowhere. They got to put this back together. But I do know she's probably getting very um, scared. Antsy. You no, know, yeah. he he might be that came home a couple times with a little headache. And see, only he knows that. You know what I mean? He ain't going to say nothing, probably. Well, he probably let it slip out. You know, your head hurting too hard. You got to say something to your woman. Right. Oh, God. My Lord. I know. I can't. We can't let that one go. They got to get that back together. Yep. They've been together too long for that. Wow. 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 Too wow, wow. long. Okay. So, listen. Who else, who else was we talking about? I had somebody else I wanted to tell you about. I don't forget. I've been working too hard today, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I've been working so hard. And who else was there? It was somebody else that um that did something real wild before. Do you have any news you want to share today? Because it was something else. I'll think of it in a minute. Lord have mercy. Um, what do I have? Let me see. At least with nobody killing nobody today. I mean, that oh, I know. I know so somebody. I, 
Yeah. yeah, I got an opportunity to watch. Uh, what's the lady's name that does the dating shows? Um, the one with like a little porcupine in the face. Cynthia, is it Cynthia? No, it's not Cynthia. Oh, 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 the uh, the uh, um, Kendra. Kendra, yes, she like a porcupine in the face. Yeah, the porcupine. Um, <laughs> my lord. Um, <laughs> and, and so I was watching it, and uh, she had a lady on the show, and the lady called in, and she said. Uh, she asked her her name, her birthday, you know, all that other stuff. Blah, blah, blah. And she said, are do you have any children? And the lady said, brace yourself. And no. I said, oh, uh oh. How many she got? Seven. <sighs> Seven kids and 33. And she said, how many fathers? She said, five. Mm. And she said, uh, there are men out there that want to be with her and marry her. They just... Uh, she said, but a man, uh, there are men that will accept seven kids by five different men. Don't get it twisted. Hmm. Oh, drunk man. Yeah, he will get him place to stay. Yep. So ain't nobody got no good sense going to do that. You know, because the ratio don't work out. Y'all really, honestly, shouldn't the ratio be no more than two to one? Like a couple. Do you think seven two to one? Two to one. Two, you know, the mom got two, daddy got two, so a couple probably should only have about four. Five yeah. would be pushing it, but don't you think that's a good number for you to have like good sense in the end? Anything yeah. more than that could really, really wreck a household. Seven. Seven by herself? Yep. Oh my. So black men, listen. I don't forgot what else I was gonna tell you. I'm gonna I want to get into this. You ready for this? I'm ready, for, I'm ready to share. Yes. Listen. The reason why I told I sent you that little message said I need another equivalent to the donkey of the day. Yeah. Hey Sharon. Sharon, I listened to you. Me and Mr. Boss listen to your baby girl. She got some talent for it. And she liked that camera. <laughs> you, know, you got to watch that, buddy. Go ahead and let her oh, just dance and be her little talented self. Oh, that was too cute. Wow, that was good. But I just wanted to let you know that. Getting back to you, black man. So the reason why I wanted to, um, cause I'm gonna start, I'm gonna add that to our show. We're going to get a word, um, for, you know, the donkey of the day is like the ass of the day, the person who made the right. ass, of the day, but the, they yeah. took the donkey. That's a really good one. Um, they already got that one. So we got to think of something else that we're going to call the person that made the ass out of themselves over here on SB nation on Monday night. Okay. You call it BBA. BBA. What's that? Big, Big dumbass. ass. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, let me see how that flow. B, <laughs> B, <laughs> A, big, dumb. I like that. I like that. <laughs> big dumb ass. Um, okay, okay, I you like know, that. You can do big dumb ass, big dummy, you know, because that's what they yeah, are. I mean, yeah. people, people become, I don't know, I, I just can't wait till you bring it. I'm with you do it. Okay, I, I, all right, so here we go. Mr. Boss, how you want to do this? I'm going to set the scene. So y'all already know we got a whole bunch of videos going on, a whole bunch of shorts out there. But there was a time I did a video. Um, Mr. Boss cut up a video and um, y'all had to be there. I was over at Fight Club, didn't have no business being there. That's my fault. Boop, knocked in the head. I'm good. I'm back. <laughs> so um, there was a certain young man that uh, was engaging me. And um, shout out to uh, Dr. Steele. Dr. Steele, I believe you're the only man that nailed it. <laughs> You nailed it. You nailed it. You understood. You know what? You got them listening skills that are outrageous. But anyway, you're going to get to the video. I'm going to show y'all this video. We're not going to call the man's name. Are we going to call his name? We ain't going to call his name. But if you out there, you listening, you know who you are. Come on up. Mr. So let's Boss, you want me to call it? Give me a sound effect. Want me to call his name, Mr. Boss? No, we ain't going to call We ain't going to call his name. We ain't going to call it. We ain't gonna call his name, black man. Let's go ahead and read. Let's read his comment, y'all. We got, I got, we got to go through this because y'all ain't gonna believe what he had to say. Mm. God, I can't see that myself. Black man, can you see that? We might have to resort to our phone. You want me to read it? I got it. Yeah, if you can see it, because I surely can. Yeah, I got it. I got it. So, um, we're gonna start here. It says, uh. For the court, we start for the courts and judge to put any woman on child support. That woman has to be viewed as very unstable and irresponsible. 
All right. Then we go down and says it says at unsolicited security. Oh, wait a minute, but wait a minute. My response was just thumbs down. And the reason why we just gave a thumbs down is because it was simple. Sir, you don't know everything. If a woman is not the custodial parent of the child, she should be on child support. That's the, I think that would be only fair. That's my thoughts. So anyway. We just gave a thumbs up because we felt like a thumbs down, excuse me, a thumbs down because we felt like, okay, it's over with. Thumbs down. Let's keep it moving. Go ahead, black man. All right. Pull it back up for me. Yeah, let me see. All right. Then it says here, uh, right after that, it says, uh, at unsolicited security boss, whatever. Ask the millions of black men y'all labeled as deadbeats and as irresponsible fathers who has ha, who has been put on child support. Join the club in equality. Stop right there. I need you to read that again. I need you to uh, put emphasis again on those words that he said, um, you know, because I'm not quite understanding this part, but we're going to make sure that everybody understands what this young man had to say. I want to hear it again. Okay. He says, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to speak it like he spoke it. Uh, whatever. Ask the millions of black men y'all labeled as deadbeats and as irresponsible fathers who was put on child support. Join the club in equality. Okay, so listen, guys. Oh, everybody over here at SB Nation, uh, who probably even knows anything about me, I'm gonna give this young man a benefit of the doubt because he probably knew nothing about me, and I, I, I'm just understanding that he doesn't, and I, it's okay. But have y'all ever heard me talk negative about a black man? Call him what a deadbeat, or talk about equality? Man, I don't like to be taken care of every day. What? Are you look? I am in my woman's role, wife, woman. What? what? Keep going, black man. Keep, but okay, what did yeah. I say to him? What did I say? What did I say? Okay, let me. The security boss came back and said, "Place your anger somewhere else. You just don't know everything." I'm a married. I, I'm a married woman. Been married for 27, re, 27 years. Respect. He came back and said, unsolicited security boss, it don't matter. We all have a past that we have to recognize and give testimony to others in truth. Where was and at now, he can't even spell, where was, where was we at? Where he said, where we was and at now, I noticed you refused to admit your mistakes, saying you were, you were young and... It's nothing wrong as admitting your past flaws instead of shift blaming to others. We all we all made <laughs> Mr. Boss and making choices. Put it back up, Mr. Boss. <laughs> Mr. Boss. <laughs> all uh, made the and making bad choices that comes toward the results in our life, good or bad. Okay, okay. stop right there, folks. Stop right there for one moment. Yes, your response comes next. Have y'all ever heard me say that the mistakes I made was because I was young and that I shifted the blame onto someone else? And if I did, who was that someone else? I have no idea. Who is this person? Okay, so this is this is why this is the reason that he's getting into the reason why I wanted to share this because to me, this is the equivalent almost to the young lady yesterday because um, I try my best to be respectable to everybody. This person didn't know me. Mm. He came out of the left field right. with talking points. Right. These are talking points. Right. Why, why would you, uh, why would you even try to attack? That's what he's trying to do. Yep. A woman that you don't know with talking points just because she's a woman. Yep. Go ahead, Mr. Balls. Go ahead. Go ahead, black man. I'm sorry to put you to work. Uh, no, I'm, no, 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 no. This is good. This is good. Okay, go ahead. Black security boss response is, uh, sir, you have no idea what SB is about. My entire platform is for holding women accountable and advocating for men. Watch more videos so you can learn more about SB because as of right now, you are totally missing it. Again, thank you for watching uh, because all of the negativity isn't healthy. Don't be the next man to assume 
watch the videos and listen to my message. Thank you. SB. Keep this, going. This, this person came back with another response at his security <laughs> boss. If you think what I posted is negativity, then you're typical and not viewing my point correctly. Accountability is the majority of you women. Uh, that's what kryptonite. He put kryptonite. Lord, hammer. He's well, he put like crypto, like the money. Crypto. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. It just to admit your failures in life, but want to be uplifted, bragging about how many years you've been married. Who's in their right mind takes admitting faults and looking in the mirror as negativity. Someone that refused to grow from with being and need outside validation, bragging about connected, being connected to others. I'm no rookie in the game, SB. Far from it. I know all the black, all the black manosphere. One more is one more, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah leave it. Let, let them. Okay. Wait a minute, black man. There you go. Go ahead. It says, You see, this is how men hold men accountable, SB. Stay in your lane if you can handle the heat. Is that it? That's it. Black man. Can you, oh. out, can you help me out just a little bit and tell me who this man was talking to? Because he was supposed to be talking to me. He, he he tried. He was talking to you. He was. Um, my question would be: Is what my mom used to say to me when I did something stupid? She said, "Well, what's wrong with you?" <laughs> um, because <laughs> if you watch the videos and you watch what Security Boss does, you know for a fact that everything that you said is untrue. Maybe um, he had some moonshine. Maybe. Um, he had the wrong thing to eat, had a stomach ache or something. He was just looking for someone to be mad at. I don't know. Uh, but if you watch your, um, your product, uh, you will know that everything that he said is untrue. I'm just wondering what is, listen, can, can we agree that he get the BDA for the day? The BDA for the day. Yeah. yeah. Know, if, does everybody know what the BDA is? Go ahead and tell them back, man. What's the BDA? The BDA of the day. Oh, that sounds good, don't it? BDA of the day. BDA of the day uh, is big dumbass of the day. How about this? Let's end it right. Enoch, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> you get the BDA. <laughs> you get it, Enoch. You got it, boo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it. Oh. All right, y'all. Okay, okay. I Listen, though. I, I did. I was... Listen, I'm good with it. I tried to be nice like three times in a row. Okay. But on that third time, I'm like, hold on, brother. Where you going with this? Yeah, wait a you minute. Know, bragging about my marriage. Of course I am. Because if you ain't accomplish it, it, did I say? If you, you haven't accomplished it. it, then yes, I'm bragging about it. But I'm wishing it upon everybody. Right. I am. But don't try to tell me I can't talk about my marriage. I'm talking about my marriage because I'm saying, look, I'm a married woman. I got a man behind me, over me, on top of me, all the way around me. I need you to back on up. Stop. I'm married. Yeah, it. I don't mean you no harm. I don't mean you no disrespect. That's the first thing I said, black man. Mm. That's the first thing I said. I said respect. Then I said, sir, he still didn't hear me. He still couldn't hear me. He still couldn't hear me. So, you know, Enoch, you'll get the BDA of the day. I hope you're listening. Thank you. Dearly beloved. We're going to move on. Another interesting thing. Okay. I, Mr. Boss did a video. Okay, we're going to have to watch the video. Okay, Black Man, while the video is playing, we can't talk. So we got to wait till the video is done. So let's take a look at this video. This okay. video is called, um, what did Mr. Black Man? It ain't the girl twerking in the water, in the fluid water, is it? No, this one is a TikTok video. And it's, I think it's called uh, The Woman's Purpose or something. I may be wrong with that, but we'll take a look at it. We'll figure it out. Okay. So let me just tell you guys. Once you say, I do. You are saying that your husband is now your purpose. And whatever his plan is for your life is what your plan is to do. Now, that does not mean that I couldn't be a judge. It doesn't mean I can't do certain things in life, have certain careers. But my husband will be the person that is dictating that. And it will be based on his plan for his life. Because remember, I said I do. 
And if you're not willing, ladies, to submit to that. Now, I know that some of y'all are fighting mad or not, you know, just like, no, I'm not believing it. It's all because you haven't seen an example of a good black man. My husband does not control me, but does my husband advise me? You absolutely right. I will not be going out this house with a short ass skirt on. Okay, we're back. So, so guess what, black, black man, can you imagine the feedback I got from the ladies over on TikTok from this one? What did they say? He said I do too. Mm. Interesting. Put it right back on him, huh? The same thing old uh, BDA uh, told you to, uh, that she said you were doing. How about this? Now, now listen to this. Did you hear me say anything about the Bible? You did not. Believe anything you want to believe in that Bible. A man made it. They went on and on about all the reasons why they could not give up their will when they said I do. Now, I said, you did you hear what the first thing I said? I said, women, those of you who said I do. Exactly. Now, if you're not wanting to say I do, don't worry about the things that come with being married. Isn't that, isn't that fair? Yep. I, I, listen, if it ain't, if, I mean, if it ain't for you, just ain't for you. I mean, they got plenty of shelters out here full of puppies. <laughs> full of what? Puppies. <laughs> Black man. That, and, listen. And cats. Just go buy your dog. Yeah, and listen, listen our, our, our women are falling off tree. Are falling off the tree. They we falling. We I don't know what's going on. It's bad. I'm not, if you're not interested in being married, I wasn't even talking to you. I I preferenced it from the beginning. I say, ladies, when you say I do. So guess what? Those of you that are not married, this should make you think three, four, five, six, seven times about being married. Those of you that are married need to check yourself. Those of you that want don't want to get married, what? Swipe left? Oh, swipe up. Keep going. But no, they had to get into it with the man. <laughs> the men, the men like this. Y'all just don't want to let that woman say what she got to say. Y'all know she right. They going back and forth Four. about this. Exactly. Ah, it's crazy. It's crazy. So it's it's just so wild, black man. I'm thinking, what is wrong with us? They don't. They anything that sounds right, they're gonna drag it because it's not. It didn't line up with what they're they're putting out. You I don't know, even know they hurt me, black man. They didn't you know even hear it. You, you you know you asked me for something a few minutes ago. You said what your news is for today. I got something I want to add on to what you just said. Sure, you come on now. You go ahead, Cynthia G. Oh, you called her name, Jesus. I need some holy she water. She said the other day, black women, listen to me. It is better to be under white supremacy and slavery under the white man than it is to ever be married to a black man. That sounds like that same day that she said um if you get some of the fluids we need to sue them i wanted to have sex with you but i didn't want none of your bodily fluids now black man i don't uh, know yeah, sure. i mean let me let me ask you a serious question because i i don't know anything about it. i just heard about it from here there and i happen to tune in a little bit but you please hear this question okay and i'm this is a sincere question is she serious i think She's serious. Um, you think she's really serious? Yeah, hold on. Is that me? I hear somebody saying something, but I told you. I hear you. somebody saying something about is that me? Can't be me. Hold on. Go ahead, keep talking. Somebody is talking. Uh oh. You said the name and didn't didn't somebody called. Mm -mm. Anyway, we're going to keep going. I do hear something. That was you. You got a, a YouTube page up. So anyway, um, listen, I'm asking if she's sincere and serious because I don't think I've ever met a woman. I've met plenty of mean women, but I've never. Hey, B. I've never met a woman that was so uh, mean and hateful. 
or, or and be that system. New, normally women, they have a loving side, a real caring side. And she says things that are very, very, very hateful, very mean, just very ugly. And it's hard for me to hear this coming from a, a woman. Now, I do know that there are man platforms out there that get real terrible and say terrible things about women also. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I guess I can accept it from a man because men are, you know, men are men. You know, they talk rough. They say stuff that is mean sometime anyway. But I've just never heard a woman uh, say things like that. And it's hard for me to hear her. I'm just wondering, you know, are you being triggered? And you're angry or is this you for real? Because, girl, I just want to I want to hug you and, and, and get some God over to you. Just 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 let you know it's going to be OK, because to have this kind of hate in your heart cannot be good. It can't be good. Can't be good, y'all, because she she says some things that, you know, delete all black babies, you know, sue the man that that sue the man who actually, you know, condom slid off and things of that nature. But never once did she say, hey, guys, let's just stop having sex with them. I haven't heard her say that. Now, I'm not saying she didn't. I can't imagine why she wouldn't have. But I haven't heard her say that. And it's it, it bothers me because we should be pushing as elders. She's a little older. We should be pushing a message that says protect yourself. The, the right way to um procreate or to have sex not not have the sex then sue if it doesn't go the way you want to where's the accountability in that and and as for the men too where's the accountability in that just to put the responsibility of not having a child on a woman that is very reckless and especially now i said it before y'all if there's a judge out there that has been listening to Cynthia G and she hears this and in and, and some kind of way it makes sense to her. Y'all are in trouble. Dearly beloved. They'll be suing you all. They'll be suing the Trojan company. They'll be suing everybody because the condom came up. They will find a way. Listen, guys, I need men, folks. I need y'all to pay attention to what they're what they're saying. I've, I've been hearing y'all talk about this for a while and I did find my find myself over there listening but um, listen, it's it's troublesome. It's not it's not normal. It's not normal for a woman to say those those hurtful things like that. And I'm understanding she has kids, so I, I just often wonder if she has a son. What what you know? How do you treat him? Are you treating him okay? Are you painting a good? Are you making you know making sure he's going to be a king to make good decisions? What are you feeding him? I hope it's good. I hope it's I hope this. YouTube platform world is not getting into her home life. I really hope it's not. <laughs> I really hope it's not. Well, it was a what? What was that? Black <laughs> it reminded me of what uh, show it was. Uh, Black man. It was the podcast nine nine days days ago. Titled, titled "War Against the Heterosexual Man." Oh, I remember mean, what you're talking about now. Yeah, there. Uh, yeah, we were talking about. There's this lady. Uh, I, I think I told you, Cicada Boss, that was married, and her and her husband are trying to have children, and they can't conceive children. Um, and the husband's going to the doctor, getting his sperm checked, checking everything, making sure everything good. They still can't conceive children. The lady called into a talk show on a radio show and mm -hmm. told the talk show that she was born a man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and you I see, um, they talk about um, people of the alphabet community often losing their lives. See, so see, that's deception. That is deception. Very that is so. deception, total humiliation. Men don't typically sign up for that. That would that would make somebody lose it. That would that that really would, black man. You you yeah. learned it, and then you uh, now nah, you telling me she knew the whole time that she couldn't have kids, and she just played with it, prayed yeah, along. She, with she, it? He was born a man. She was born a man, so you know she can't have no kids. I, mean, I know. Oh, oh, you're right. And she play, She was playing with him. I, I mean, well, she was scared to tell him because she said she was in love. Man, so she didn't want to. Yeah, man. Don't play yeah, with me. I can't. Mm -mm, nah, don't, that, don't, don't play mm, with me. No, no. Yeah. Don't don't even call me. Don't look nowhere look in my man. direction. What? This is I'm so going to jail. crazy. So, so black man, getting back to that young lady that you were getting ready to speak of, you said she is sincere. Now, I don't know anything about her. I'm not going and I'm not going to talk negative about her because I feel sorry for her. I do because it's a lot of um women following her. A lot of women following her, and I would think that she's has gone through and experienced a lot of things to have that much trauma. I mean, that much vitriol. You know, she talked 
she talks strong about men. And I said to myself, wow, this is not my husband. My husband's not like this. And, and, and to me, she wouldn't give it nobody. She was all or none. You know how we say, not all, yeah. you know, we get some grace somewhere. She wasn't given no grace. And, and, and she even on one of the shows uh, she did on Fox Soul, which I don't know why they got her on Fox Soul, but on Fox Soul, she was saying that even uh, when they mentioned uh, successful black men, name them, name them. And they said, Martha King, she said, why are you naming people that aren't proven? And I'm thinking to my wait. So he named Malcolm X, he named Martin Luther King, he named all these Garvey, all these other people. She said, uh-uh, you name the people that are having proven themselves. What? Haven't proven themselves to who? What, who? Who is measuring this? Who who got the measuring stick? Her? Is she the is she the man? she the listen, that's that's what I'm saying. This woman talks about black men, but she's looking so hard to look like a trans man. And, and that that's the thing that get me. She got this big ass wig on her head. She like a deer with a wig on. I keep saying it. But that, black man, what is her story? If you know why, are, what, is it just the manosphere? She's just against them. Cause somebody left that comment. Cause I, I was like, wow, she's going at this. And there are no, there are no principles behind this. She said those that what that person said, those are her principles. And you know, it, it, it opened my eyes because I always expect people to be good. I always look for the good in people. You know, I always I really do feel like I could make people not make them, but encourage people to be good and her, too. So when I say things, I'm thinking I said, where are her principles? What is she doing? They was like, that is her principle. Yeah. Her, her, her principle and goal is to tear a black man down. And I'm thinking. Wow. That's yep. very hard to hear. It's, it's bad. It's, it's very hard to hear. But then guess what? On the flip side of it, I get emails or I get comments like this young man wanting to fight, wanting to fight me, or I guess, or argue with me about something making me like her or part of the, you know, that follow her or what have you. Right. And and I hate that because that's a lot of women. Three point seven thousand were in the chat that day. Black man. And she she like I said, she's very influential. Women love her. Um. So we, we, I haven't given her a good chance then. I haven't given her a fair chance. So, so you tell me that that was just a snippet of her on a bad day. She no. got to be saying some good stuff. No, this is the same woman that said delete all black boys. I know. This is I the know. same woman. This is the same woman. She's she's very consistent in her rhetoric. Um, so our was, women, so our black women are listening to this. Yes. And and and, and, and it's influencing their behaviors. Exactly. Look okay. At the so, chat. Yeah. Look at the chat. Let me, I, I, I saw it, but I didn't, you know, I saw some names though. I saw some names that were familiar, but let me ask you a question. Does she ever speak on behaviors? Like good, does she, does she kind of like promote good behavior or being married? She no, don't? Oh, no, no, not at all. Zero. It's like she hates black men like badly. Well, even if it's not a black man, does she, does she promote good behavior though? Are she saying to the ladies, ladies, you know, there's no need for you to be out here twerking on 77 or, you know, align yourself to be the best version of yourself. Make sure you take, you know, none of that. Nope. Not at all. Um, it, 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 it's, it, I don't know why people listen. I don't know why women listen to this woman. She's not, she's my proven. You're not proven. You're just a man hater. Yeah. Well, you know, who hurts you? It's like deep. It's really deep. Who hurts you? It's really deep. Black man, it, it, she's a little bit more than she 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 hated years ago. Right now, it's a it's a it's it's all of them ain't no good, and I can't imagine because isn't she isn't she African American? Mm -hmm. So so oh god, her well, daddy the makeup on the makeup on she orange. So I don't know if she's African American, Hispanic, but oh. she have like three different levels and 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 layers of makeup, and her whole face looks like a Spalding basketball. So I don't know. So black man, listen, I'm going to tell you something. I'm, this, this is real. I'm not, we're not going to pick, we're not going to roast her. You know why? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to tell you why we're not going to roast her. The things that come out of her mouth are bad enough alone. My, my, my. We can just deal with that. The things that I've heard her say thus far. So we, you know, sometimes you ain't even got to make some people look bad. It's all, they, they just do it on their own, you know, just, just on their own. So we, I, I, you know, one day I may have her on my show cause I want to have a conversation with her, not an argument. I'm not into, 
I just really want to know why. What's what, what you know? You do you know and do you know in your spirit that all men are not like this? Right. Oh, but you know, I'm not going to take away from the fact that there are some that are hitting on nothing. But we got the our women deserve better. So so she wants the women just to be by themselves. I guess. Be by That's yourself. A That's a get lot of women. Your, yep, get your rose. Oh, Clement say SB Cynthia G was pro black a few years back working with Boyce working Watkins. with who? He's, Boyce he's, Watkins. He's right. he's right. But flip when she saw she can make more money. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Now Boyce Watkins is he Manosphere? No, Boyce Watkins is a simp. Um, yeah, he's 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 a he's a uh, yeah. You have to you got to do a show on him. That's a whole show. Oh, I don't know him. So so. Cl Clement, are you saying this is all about money? Yeah, I think so. Don't do it. Don't do it, security boss. Do what? Don't have on the show. Yep, that's what he's saying. Don't okay. Don't, you don't Look want me to Eugene. Talk? See Eugene know uh, about him. Eugene know don't about Boris Walker Simp Supreme. So uh Mr. Scotland, you say she wouldn't be a good um a good interview? Because we Mr. Boss got the controls back there now. You know we can fade to black. We can fade you to the black if you can't answer the questions. We, 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 ain't, we ain't got to argue. We right. ain't got to have no nonsense going on. But I, I listen to you all. Y'all SB Nation. I don't want to give that type of behavior shine. This is true. But I do want to understand, you know, especially when I hear things like um, what Mr. Gray is telling us, because that's a good question. Like, you know, I would love to ask that question. A few years ago, were you really pro-black? You know, black man, tell the truth. She's a, she's a transformer. <laughs> uh, yeah, she is. <laughs> now, now, security boss, I don't mean yeah. to change the subject, but but uh, no. Mr. Boss, look in the private chat. I got something there for you. It's not nothing bad or anything like that. It's just, um, I don't know if you've heard about it. Um, BLK is a dating app. And they came up with a the rapper Trina, along with others, came up with a slogan for voting, and it's all over the waves. I don't know if you have you I don't know if you've seen it on your TV waves, but it is a commercial for voting, uh, and it's called No Voting, No Vucking. No with what? A v, v with a V. No voting, no vucking. Can it be played? It can be played. Yes, it's no cursing in it. It's called it's called No Voting, No Vucking. It's a it's a voting ad uh for for the people in miami and no oh, for the state of florida that's what it's for that's the commercial oh, wow. now, who is this saucy santana saucy santana is a rapper you'll see you'll see that thing when it first comes on okay let's play my lord oh hold on for a minute let's see mr boss see if mr boss can play it for us okay oh my yeah it, it's a it's a voting ad uh, that they're using in Miami. Um, next week, if you want me to see the other one, they have one for Georgia called Get Your Booty to the Poles. Um, and they have strippers on the commercial dancing at the strip club uh, telling men to get their booties to the pole. All right, you ready? There it is. Lord have mercy. Watch this security bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trade checks. I think we got one. It's voting season, bruh. Now voting, no loving. Now voting, no touch. Now voting, no nothing. Now voting, no fucking, no voting, no. Oh, woo, woo! I feel like the fight, and I already started. They, 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 they used a, a gay man to tell women. Don't have sex with your man unless he's voting. Okay, so wait a minute. Let me ask a couple of questions. Why do you think that? Okay, did I miss something? Why was he speaking to the men, to the women? Why do you feel like he was speaking to women? Because they because they said that the voting uh, in the black community more uh, women vote. Women voters are ten almost ten times higher than men right now. Uh, Look at your snuggles. Wait a minute. Ain't nothing about that, my people. Yes, I have dark skin and he has dark skin too, but they are not my people. Snuggles. Snuggles. I'm going to need you to fix it. 
They don't, those are not my people. Those are not our people. I don't believe in this one bit. And black men, I believe you're wrong. I think he's talking to the black man because the black man is the one that is not out there voting. Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. Voting. You're right. You're right. Because about 10 more seconds in that video, they showed a guy that was very athletic. And he was like, uh, if you want it, if you want this booty, you got to go do your civil duty. Okay. So, okay. Wait a minute. So, okay. So what are we doing about it? Are we like protesting and taking it down? Like they wanted to do for Jeffrey Dahmer movie. Yeah. They're not trying to take that down because, and, I'm, and, and, and shout out to everybody. You, you make your own choices in life. However, I do believe that, and I had this on the show the other night, people tried to drag me, you know, my comments be on fire. Um, you gotta be but I said that they're, that they're, the heterosexual man is at war. And not only he's at war with men that who want to be women, and we're at war with the women, period. And these, the gay man and the woman is taking over. They're, they're, they're everything you look at now, like Woman King. A lot of people say, oh, it's so positive. It's just so positive. No, it's not. It's not positive because you could have named the damn movie Black Queen. But no, you want to make a statement, woman king. Everybody know a king is a man who rules. Black man. Let me ask, when are we going to, okay, so listen, why we can't protest this here video? Why the men are, okay, he said no effing. I mean, basically, he's just trying to put a play on it. But when you say it fast, he's saying what the word is. Why is this okay? Kids are seeing this kind of yep, stuff. Exactly. This is awful. Hey, and we can't kid. protest this. We, how come we can't, look. Oh, but wait a minute. Is this a part of the alphabet community? Absolutely. Ain't, oh, ain't so never going to. they not going to take it down. They ain't going to take it down. No, ma'am. I wish you would. That's what the, that's what they're saying. I wish you would. Okay, well, what does that have to do with it? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What? What? What you saying? Is she? Or snuggles? What, what, what? Snuggles. He was telling the men, he was telling the men the only way you could tap his booty is after you do the duty and go to the polls. You right, Snuggles. But Snuggles, if I ever hear you say again that that's my people, I got something for you. I'm gonna find you. You got yeah, IP, you got an IP address, buddy. I'm very tricky over here. Yeah. And see, Gregory Scotland said it. He said black men right now are not totally following black women in voting patterns like in the past years. A number of black women are very upset. Listen, you ain't going to get me to no polls with no big old gay dude up there looking like the uh, uh, the gay linebacker talking about uh, you can't get my booty until you do your civil duty. I mean, so, what? Can, can me and you talk about something right now? I want to say I want to share something with you that I heard. Yeah. They might cancel me for this, but I'm, I, I, pr I promise you I heard it. it ain't nothing I started. I okay. promise you. Cause this ain't looking too good, and I don't like the way it's going, y'all. I'm going out on the limb saying this, but I heard this somewhere, and it's I ain't gonna say where I heard it, but somebody said one night that KS uh -oh. was was upset with the women, and he was on a rant, uh huh, and he said. I'm tired of you all, you know. Oh, and men, if y'all get tired too, won't you just go get you a man? Yeah. I think I need something a little heavy. I promise you somebody said that. Now, now I don't know where the video at. I don't know the context of the video, but I promise you I heard somebody we all know said that, said it on these YouTube platforms. Yeah, y'all, I heard. Yeah, he said it. I ain't going to say who said it. But if it ever come back to me, I have to tell y'all who said it. But I heard him say it. Said he was on a rant one night. He was really upset. Black man, I don't like this. I don't I, like I, this. I, I, I'm, I, just give me a moment. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you either. I'm serious. I'm not. Oh, yeah. Let me see. I'm I'm not. I heard him. I heard him say it. And y'all know I I I'll be sitting up here quoting some of KS things, y'all. So I'm not, I'm not hating, but I'm I heard him say it. I heard some I didn't hear him say it. Someone else said he said it. Um 
hmm, they are actually trying to tie Michelle Obama to this video because she yes. and her voting organization is sponsoring the dating app. Be okay. Look. And Shaquille okay. O'Neal owns the company. Oh, uh, so it's about money. Shaquille, yeah, I think so. I, I just don't understand, guys. I don't. Un when did men start being okay with a man with long nails, bald headed, with some shades on, and a black court suit saying, "No"? Just. Uh, so, are you asking when did the download become popular? Yes, I mean it, it was probably, called. Down, it was called down around. Down. Well, see, it's not download no more when you add the nails to it, right? No. Black man, did you hear what I just said, though? Did you hear what I heard somebody say on this platforms? Yep. Uh, you know what? I remember hearing it a while back. Oh, you did hear it? I thought I was crazy. I thought I was yeah. really just like, okay, I messed that up. I didn't hear that right. But somebody... It was, yeah, it was, it was a long time ago. It was probably, about a year, probably a year ago when they said, Kevin Samuel said, you know what? No, what he said was, I remember it now. What he said was, uh... Women out here, he said, shit, I, women like this. He had a woman on there that said she was the worst woman he's ever interviewed or whatever, and she pissed him off terribly. And because she said she's married to a man, but she want to go back to her ex because her ex makes more than her husband. I remember I re that woman. She said she, yes, I remember her. Uh -huh. And after that, he went, hey, he was like, you know what? I mean, the, the way this woman is, I hope your husband watching this and I hope your family watching this. He say, shit, I don't, I don't, uh, he said, now I understand, uh, why me and I here dealing with women like you go and find them a man. Hell, go get you a man. If they treat you like this, I remember it. I remember it. Yeah. 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 They said he was enraged. He was going off. I didn't hear him. I ain't heard him say that. That's what he said. Well. Black man, if we don't hear and put this together, what are we doing right now? How are you going to beat them? Beat them? I don't want to beat. We don't beat who? Who are we beating? I'm, I'm saying, how are you going to overcome? I don't know. We got we to <laughs> overcome an organization that is so powerful. But guess what, black man? They're not the ones suffering. The black man is the one that suffers. Yes. yes. Y'all the ones that are suffering. It was taken out of context. Okay, tell me how it was taken out of context. What? What? Oh, him saying that. I can hear what. Yeah, I can hear what he's saying too. He's saying that basically, he was saying that that's. I see why men date other men. Hell, because women treat them like shit. Well, I think that's what we're saying. I think that's what yeah. that's where we're going. Because guess what? If you got three point seven, um, if you got three point seven thousand, uh, three thousand women over here, thirty seven hundred women over here looking at this video, and we got, you know, the numbers are just not adding up. But all of them are hating men, and right. we got maybe eight hundred men over here hating women. Okay, the numbers are not matching up right there anyway, right? right. So the ones that actually want a woman, where they gonna get a woman from? A decent one. Security yeah. boss. It gets even deeper than the. Oh Lord, have mercy. It Let's talk deeper. about it because we got to fix this problem because the men are the ones and y'all might not agree. You tell me. I think y'all the ones that are suffering. These women, I really don't think they're suffering. So y'all help me out. I, I think that, you know, and it's getting to a point, I'm telling you, it's getting to a point where the, the, that, that, the community is to the point where they're even pushing the women to the side. Thank you for helping. The, 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 the LGBTQ community is getting like the uh, feminist movement was for the women. We use black women for everything. The feminist movement, the white women say, you know what? We can do this, but if we had them black women out there, we'd be better off. Let's get them. Let's get them. The black women start marching. Oh, we don't need no man no more. And the white women was looking from the office buildings like, oh, we got them. Right? So the feminist movement happened. Now we're back here again. And that's what's happening right now. They use the black women. Go do this. Go out here and 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 the LGBT community. Oh, the black women. Oh, we support them. We love the LGBT. Oh, those are our trans sisters and our trans brothers. And now the trans community is saying women are just carriers. Black women are just carriers of children. It doesn't make them a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh so yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So 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 in turn, we're gonna keep that little secret that we transition. And then our men, our nice heterosexual men, straight men, are yeah. going to end up in situations 
yeah. because they don't know. Yeah, and it's getting to the point, security boss. The women they're surgically putting these women together to the point that they like women. The other night, on you my ain't show, got to tell me that. I I, I showed you. you. Remember what? Look, yeah. man, ain't this ain't this terrible? You remember how long ago did we talk about this? And I showed you that woman, and mm -hmm. we talked about the robot and that lady. I said this was the first one I've saw. She was um she was on. Was it Oprah? Was it Oprah? She was on. Is it Oprah or Ayanna? She, it was she was Ayanna. Just, it was Ayanna. Ayanna. You remember how she looked? Do you remember how that woman looked? Uh -huh. And hmm. I pulled one up the other night on my show, and the, and and Mandrell couldn't believe it. And all the guys oh, was like, yeah. "What on Barbershop? They say what? That ain't, that ain't no way. That's a man. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, it was one. Yes, a she man. She's been living this one we're talking about here. That woman been living as a woman for oh uh, God now what about twenty five years? Yep. She, and got a husband. And now, there, now you have. Like, you, I was sure we could bring it up, but she nobody knew. I don't think. I think they had to bring that out of her. She, but she had her own story how she was uh, was born a little boy, and I think she was a little boy, and I think her parents let her go till she was about what they. She had to get out their house or something. I don't know the whole. Yeah. Story. I can't remember the whole story. But that woman is beautiful. That man is beautiful, but she's a beautiful woman. She's transitioned completely, and y'all would not know. That that woman was ever a little boy, you but would that, never. But know. you putting your life in danger, messing around with a nigga like I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I yeah, didn't no, no. messing yeah. around with a man like me. <laughs> if if I found out, ain't nobody gonna find out. It was gonna be a news story in the morning, uh, because um, this one. Can you imagine that the news host? I mean, the radio host told this lady when you go. She said, "I want to tell him. I'm going to tell him. What do I need to do? How can I do it?" Shit, he said, "You need to have three things: a doctor, a priest." And a, a a police officer. He said you're gonna need all three of them when you tell yep. that man. Yeah. Um, no, no actually, you need to just leave. You need to leave. You need to run away. You need to disappear immediately. Her, um, Snuggle said, "Um, it would be wise for you, or would be wise for you, or to go and get what they call a what dirty, dirty foot. Foots. What's a dirty foot? Yeah, I ain't no telling here. Snuggles, we just talking. Snuggles, you know what? Is that how your people talk? Them her people." Yeah, in that in that instance, you might need to talk like my people so I can understand what you're talking about. But but Dirty. information, information man, shout out to him, had a video of a trans woman saying talking about women and saying that women, all women are women, even if a man transitions completely, he is a woman. And other women go through menstrual cycles because they were designed to be carriers of children. They are women are not designed to be carriers of children. But then it went on to say this um ladies listen when you when a man is dealing with a trans woman he don't have to deal with certain things that they deal with right now if you're dealing with me no babies no menstrual cycle no never i'm tired uh but no no um you don't have to worry about child support wait wait, wait 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 a minute this because yeah. you train wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute yeah because yeah. you're a transgender you don't get tired no yeah we don't we don't say we're tired to our men we you can't get none no, you don't have to worry about no menstrual cycle. You don't have to worry about getting us pregnant. You don't have to worry about child support. We are a safe haven to your penis. Oh, and oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Snuggle say, uh, your people, and I think he, I guess he's talking about black people, um, who are overseas, call women who are overseas dirty foots because they think of women overseas are hookers, according to what your culture has portrayed on TV. Am I wrong for my thought process? Absolutely wrong. What makes a woman just because she's overseas a hooker? Yeah. I ain't like, never man, can you help me out with that? I thought I there was some good women. Thought yeah, I, I thought there thought were good that. women overseas that were submissive and that were wives and ready to be married. Raised to be that way. Yeah, you got hookers everywhere. Here, hookers in Egypt, hookers in Amsterdam, hookers in Texas, hookers in Denver. Why, why, why they got to get the hookers? Why they can't just get a good woman? Right, it's hookers everywhere. It's dirty foots everywhere. Hell, the snuggles walk outside and make two lefts and a right. You'll find a hooker. I guarantee it. It's, it's yep. everywhere. Shoot, yeah. just go to the truck stop. Listen, yeah. Clement Gray says, SB, may I suggest a manifesto written by a professor in 1987 called the you Gay Manifesto? Everything it said. Oh, said it wanted to do is happening now. Oh my goodness. Y'all listen, men, um, bl black man, I think a couple of weeks ago, I said on your, your panel, I, did, I said in the comment section that due to alternative lifestyles, yep. black men being in prison and um, just 
uh, there's these wars that are going on. The black race, the males are going, the numbers are going to be so little or so small, extinct. You know, they're going to be extinct because it's not going to be enough of you all. And that's what I mean. I know you black men will be around, but we got to figure out how we can make a stronger influence of positivity on those ladies to get them less brainwashed and let them know that we need our men because I don't understand how this is going to work. I yeah. can't see it. Yep. Yeah. I'm not interested in well, I got me one. And then we'll I'll be gone on the glory. Y'all be fighting. Let's see. Yeah, um, beloved. Snuggle says, um, but the biggest issue is you all are having with the passport, young men is thinking the only only going to deal with women of of the what of the night, according to what it have he's heard online. I don't believe that. I think men that are going to other countries to get their wives are hopefully being very selective because they've gone a long way. It makes no sense to go over there and get something that is not good for them. So I, I've never heard that. Black man, you've heard that before? Uh, no, uh, and, and that's just stupid. Uh, listen, so I, I'm not you, not you, Snuggles, but the, for, you know what you said. His uh, idea. It's, yes. It's quite goofy. Yeah. I, I just don't understand. <laughs> so again, I want to share something with you. I, I pulled it up here. I want to share something with you. Uh, let's see. I got it right here. I got to pull. Okay. So are you familiar with Paul Harvey? Very, yeah. very famous new uh, uh, author, um, white guy. Uh, he was born in 1918. He died in no. 2009. Okay. Not that said, one, yeah. He said one night he fell asleep. I'm, I'm going to educate some people today. They don't know who Paul Harvey is. Uh, old white man. Hell, he probably was. one. Of, well, let me ask you this. He used to wear white linen all the time. No. He white was a, linen he, clothes. He was a suit guy. Okay, no, I don't know him. Go ahead. So Paul Harvey said uh, in an interview before he did what I'm about to uh, share with you guys, he said that he had a dream and he said he was sitting at a table, like a dining table, and there was a shadow at the other end of the table in his dream. And the shadow reached out to him and called his name. And he said, who are you? And the shadow said, I'm the devil. He said, the devil, he said, why are you in my dream, devil? I don't believe in you. He said, the devil said, yes, but I want to share something with you. Mm. And he said what the devil shared with him, he woke up and he put it to paper. He said the devil told him how he was going to destroy the world. This was in 1960, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. This is what it says. Paul Harvey put it in terms of what he said. He says, if I were the devil, pertaining to himself, if I were the devil. He said, this is what the devil said. He says, if I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I want to engulf the whole world in darkness. This is 1960. I would love, uh, I would have a third of its real estate and four fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. Hmm. The people. He said, so I, I set about however necessary to take over the United States. I subvert the churches first. I begin with a campaign of whispers with the wisdom of a serpent. I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve, do as you please. He said, <laughs> to the young, I would whisper the, that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that that's bad is good and what's good is square. Did I just not say that to you a minute ago? That's what made me look. Did, what made did, me look did I just say that to you? That was one of the, listen, did, how many times have we said what is good is bad and what is bad is good? How many exactly. Times he said, he said, and the old, I would teach to pray after me, our father, which art in Washington. Watch this. He says, and then I would get organized. I'd educate authors and how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. That's happening to you, security boss. Let me read that again. I want everybody. Oh, wait, to wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you trying to say I'm old and dull and uninteresting? <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm saying is what you're teaching, they ain't trying to hear it. Okay, let me, read it. let me read it again so the people in the I back can understand. It says, and then the devil says, and then I'd get organized. I could I'd educate authors and how to make lurid literature exciting. So that so lurid means bad, lies, mischief. Uh, made up stuff, Housewives of Atlanta, right? He'll make that exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting like marriage, children, nuclear family, right? I'd mm -hmm. TV with dirtier movies 
and vice versa. Oh my yeah. God. He said, I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I tranquilize the rest with pills. Wow. Oh, we're going through the uh, opioid. Ooh, the zombies. Have you seen them? My God. He said, if I were the devil, I soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So, so listen, before you go on, let's read this. Um, Mr. Yeah. Scotland, security boss, how do you explain married black Married black women being very concerned about single black men getting passports. Um, shouldn't they be forced? Shouldn't they be focused, excuse me, on their marriage? Mm. Absolutely. What do you hmm? So there are some married women that are concerned. Now let me let me share this. Maybe, maybe they're concerned because they would like for those single black men not to go out of the country to find their wives. Maybe they want them to find a nice woman here in the States. Now, that's the only thing I can think of. But listen, I say love is love. And if you got people influencing women or anybody negatively, um, I think you need to find some authentic love. Wherever you go, you need to get it, you know, and make a baby. I, I This is just my belief. Make a baby. I, I would prefer you to stay here in the United States. But if you have to go get you a woman, go get you a woman. Exactly. Bring her back. I mean, but listen, though, black man, the other part that bothers me so much is that there is someone out there that is fanning the hate for men, too, for women also. Yep. And, and, and um, I experienced that in that comment that we yep. read earlier today. And, and that has to stop, too. But again. What, how? How do we. You know, when I hear about the manosphere, you all are, I'm not saying you all as in you per se, but right. it's always been positive, uh, helping men see things for what they are, um, helping them be the best version of themselves, helping and trying to help them know how to vet women, how to date, you know, how to, all those things that make you guys the best version of yourselves. That's exactly. what I normally hear. Exactly. But when I hear comments coming from individuals, like I heard today, I'm not sure how to place that. I'm not sure where to put that. Because I'm telling you, I'm a grown woman that's been married 27 years. I'm going to go ahead and continue to brag on it. Exactly. And it's it, it's it's of non-effect to me. But to hear but a younger woman, a younger version of myself that may be single, they'd have been going at that man. They'd have been going at him. That, that would have been a knockdown, drag out, a BDA calling afternoon. Am I yep. right? Yep. So how do we stop this? How do we, you know, I know not everyone is good and want to be married, but there are some women out there that do. They are. So how can we put this together to the point where we can at least recognize each other and say, listen, we don't want to be a part of that. We want something different. Um, Larissa Barnes, that's what I was reading. You're in the last days. It went away so quick. Oh, Larissa, where are you? You, uh. We are in the last days and the Bible is unfolding as we speak. Yeah. Yep. And that's one of the parts I was about to get into because uh, security boss, when I, when you said what you said a few minutes ago, it just made me be like, I was like, I remember reading this when I was young. Yeah. She said a, the Bible was made of nothing but men. Yeah. Yeah. I, I said that. Yeah. She said, well, they said it. It's written. It is. They, 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 that was their explanation for me saying what I had to say. The passport, bro. Are laughable at best. Sugar bomb. Sugar bomb. You know what? I'm glad that you're here. Yeah, I was going to say something. Let me say some things. Black man, let me say some things. Sugar bomb, I understand that you don't like to cam up, but I have some questions for you because I have a feeling that um you you know a whole lot more than I do about both sides. So, well, maybe not about both sides, about the other side over there. Sugar bomb, I um visited a platform where there was a woman that spoke very negative about men. Um, and I didn't see you there, but I got a feeling you do go there occasionally. Not that you go to, you know, support or anything, but I, I got a feeling you may go. Can you tell me why women are so hateful or negative towards men? And keep it on the women. Tell me why the women are so hateful and negative towards the men. You know, if you're saying, you know, I'm not going to, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I want to know from you, Sugar Bum, why do you think so? If, if it had, if you had to pick 
the three top things. Tell me why women hate men so much. Three top things. If you do that, I appreciate you so much for doing that. Yeah, so wait, wait. Say, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, I was going to say, because, you know, when she just said, you know, the passport brothers are laughable at best, that's fine. Uh, because a lot of people, the, the conversation about the passport brothers is every man ain't able to do it, right? And a lot of them say they can do it and they ain't able to do it. You're absolutely correct. But you have to understand, Sugar Bomb, that not only uh, are men being fake like that, but then we also have women being fake saying, I'm a wife. I know how to cook. I know how to nurture a man. I know how to take care of my man. I know what my man needs. So listen, you got men lying about being passport bros, and you got women lying about being wives and they hoes. Bars. Because that's what's happening. That's what it is. You don't tell a man your number because you're scared. And then when you, because you promiscuous, you be with a man for a, a long period of time, and then you get bored with him because you used to having a, a, a unlimited supply of penis. <laughs> so, but you, but you being fake too. So it is what it is. I mean, men, men being fake, women being fake. We just got to balance it out on both sides. I want to know what spews the hate, though. It just can't be yeah. this verbiage. It got to be more to it than this verbiage. Because someone right here says that Sugar Bum love men. Okay, Sugar Bum, so it may not be you. You might not. I mean, I'm just asking if you have any idea, if you could explain to me why women really hate men. One, the uh, those women have negative experience with certain black men and they want to generalize all of us. So you saying, um, Dr. Steele, thank you for that. So you're saying like if I, cause I, I too had a very uh, bad experience with the man. My child's father was a bad experience, um, but I picked him. Uh, oh. <laughs> you know, we were together. We had a relationship, you know, I should have known. I should have known better and I should have wanted better for myself. And when I uh, realized that I let it go. But what should I have? I should just say that all men were going to be like that when I pray not. I pray I was going to get a better one as I grew. You know, the, the better I got became as a woman. I felt like I got a better man and I did. But should I be should I have been comparing that bad experience with all the others? Is that what I'm hearing? If all, if all your experiences with men have been bad, I got to check myself. Don't you? You know what? Look at Larissa. Is Larissa Barnes? Said the they reason. don't want men uh, to lead and be the head. If a woman cannot allow God to lead her life, she will have a hard time uh, with a man to do the same. Absolutely. Absolutely. Woman, yeah. thank you. Because, and Sugar Bomb said, number three, I believe women are tired of selling for average cheating men. Sugar Bomb, women, if we're talking about black women right now, well, let's, let's do the numbers and the statistics, honey. Right now, right now, we look at it. If you go look at the numbers, security boss, you probably know this already. Well, what number two at black man? Wait a minute. No, wait oh, a minute. number two. Let me go up to number two because now it's number three. Number Hold number on. two. Number two says, "I believe it's a res it, what? I believe it's a response. I don't even know what that is." Uh, number one, she said, "I think they're hurt." Number two, I believe it's a response. A response. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, and number three is, I believe women are tired of selling for average cheating men. Okay, so I believe it's a response. She's saying to, because that's what the young lady said to me today, that the uh, that she believed that that young lady was, was responding to the manosphere. Okay. So in other words, we were acting like children. So so like if you say, security boss, you got a big head, I would say, black man, your head bigger, and right. you can't get no woman. And then you would say, well, you black as hell. Then I would say, so you, you know, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So who's gonna do that? That's that. That's a reason why I don't like you. We doing that. Yeah. Like, man, did you just hear? So Sugar Bomb, are you sure about that one? Please yeah. give me more than that. Then the third one, I believe women are tired of selling for average cheating men. So why settle though? Right. Why do they have to be with? Because I can too understand if all I'm all, if all I'm attracting is an average man that has the ability or that will cheat on me, then that would make me. Um, I would be angry about that. I actually wouldn't even have that. I would wait till I could get myself in a different position where I can attract a better man. But that too wouldn't make me hate men, would it? But but the thing is, security boss, it's no accountability. And what she's saying is, I believe women are tired of selling for average cheating men. If you are a woman and you've been in four or five relationships and every relationship is a reflection of the last, you are the common denominator. It's your ass. It ain't the men. It's what you attract. You are attracting what you are. 
You are attracting what you are, and you're giving to men what they want. And yes, you take some responsibility. Stop saying we're you're tired of the men, and stop letting and stop being around those men. Go to our art gallery instead of going to the club. Go, but, go. But, but, but wait a minute, though. You got to do some work. You got to cut about two inches off them nails. Yeah, come you on, gotta, man. You got you to get some of that Clinique stuff for your skin. You got to make sure them teeth are nice and white. You got to. You can't be living that life. You can't be twerking on seventy seven. You got to alter your life. You have to align yourself with what you want. But listen, Sugar Bum, thank you for this. Sugar Bum said it is very childish. Um, the men started started it though. Oh, good God, oh God, Jesus. The back and forth, the men started it. Men, it is fine. Men have done wrong. But however, if a woman, let me say this to Sugar Bum. Black man, slow down. Because listen, listen to, slow down, black man. Look at what she's saying to us. If this is anywhere near being it, black men, come on, slow down. Yeah, you can't just woman. run. You can't just have an answer for this. Let's just slow down. Just, it's very childish. The men started it, though. Yeah, that's, so that means ain't nobody ready. 3,000. Okay, so Sugar Bomb, listen to this, though. I hear what you're saying. And this all may be true if this has anything to do with it. If the men started it, the women have more than tripled it, doubled down on it. And now it's becoming a huge issue because it was 3,000 plus women over there that were very childish. And they were getting some message that was very negative. I have never seen, I'm just saying, I'm not saying it ain't real, y'all, but I have never seen or been on in a platform where men have talked the way that the women were talking, that this woman were talking about men. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't happen or it hasn't happened because um, Mr. Scotland gave me a whole list of uh, manosphere people. I don't know if they talk this way or not, but Sugar Bomb, we got a big old problem. It, ooh. She said the man started it, black man. Okay, how did this happen? How did the men start it, you think? So the men started it because they allowed it. Um, you, you remember back in the Ooh, day. Wait, wait, wait. The men started it because the men allowed it? No, no men started it. In her perspective, men started it. I'm telling her, men started it. She feels that way because mm -hmm. women allowed it. When are you going to get tired of the same thing? When are you going to say, you know what? I'm not going to get my, I'm not going to be driving home one night from the grocery store and I'm going to get wet and moist and see Pookie and Ray Ray and say, damn, he fine and go get. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere black man, because this, this is getting to the, the, the root of the problem. I don't know if women understand this or not, but this is saying here, SB, I believe women are telling the men to get more money and get their money up. And they're responding negatively, negatively, negatively. Okay. So let's just stay right there for a minute. Okay. Okay. So if a woman were to, to come to you like this black man and say, I need you to get your money up. Cause I'm assuming a woman is approaching the man and saying this because if a man finds a good wife, finds a good woman and it makes it his wife, he's the one that's calling the shots. So, so sugar bum, what you're saying is that we have a whole group of women for whatever reason, we already know what it is. IG, YouTube, uh, Facebook that are just, only fans that are totally out of order because when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. And that wife lives within that man's means. Cause that's the man that, that she, she found, he found her. Teach. That's the man for her. Teach are, security are, boss. He's come on. Lost. I didn't say it right. Let me, let me say this again. He Cause y'all bugging me out right now. Okay. Listen, sugar bum. When a man finds a wife, he's finding a good thing. But that woman that goes with that man is agreeing to live within that man's means. That is that man. She's not the man that she wants. It, it, you, you, a woman can't make the, that kind of, uh, would, would that be proposition towards yeah. a man? And so she would not be the one that wants to be married. And, and, and you know what, security boss? You left she something out. Control. Yeah, you left something out. You said a man that findeth a wife findeth a good thing meaning when he finds you you already wife ready but the next verse is something so special to me and he will acquire favor from the lord meaning that when you work while you worry about his money when god just put in scripture that he gonna take care of you anyway oh my god this is so, this so is sugar bomb just said that she doesn't what if they don't want to live average okay sugar bomb what is the woman doing by herself probably pretty average security boss can i add something to that 
But wait a minute. Did you hear black man says when you are in the confounds of a marriage, God will bless that marriage. And I'm going to tell you something. I exactly. married Mr. Boss when I was 25 years old. We wouldn't know 100 plus couple, six figure plus couple. But look at me now. Y'all have to work for it. Y'all got to put in the work, of- ladies. Y'all got to put in the work. And then, then you talking about you not living average. What, what what do you mean? So if your husband working, then you go get then you go out there and be your be the helpmate. Come here, somebody. Because if your husband ain't making what you want him to make, then how about you go out and find something and bring it back to the house? Because biblically, that's what we do here as believers. The Bible says that while the man is out working, the woman finds a field and she buys it and turns that into a second uh, income and a, and a third income, and she brings that to the house and the husband delegates. So if you want your husband to make a certain amount of money, then you help him get there. Okay, you don't like, sit your ass okay. at home watching Atlanta Housewives of Atlanta while your husband's out sweating and killing himself. If if you want him to, if you want to be at a certain place, then get your ass up and go get you a job. Black man, you made one mistake. A wife is not going to tell a husband he ain't making enough money. That's not going to happen. Because guess what? When you say I do, your husband becomes your purpose. It's come on, security boss. Teach him tonight. So if you if you ain't ready to become the purpose of that man who made you his wife, stay away from him. But yeah. she, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about this average life. Ain't nothing wrong with being average. I mean, listen, average is good. You feel good. You as long as your bills are paid. I mean. You can be intentional and live average and have an outstanding life and not miss anything and not miss anything. So I don't know what's wrong with being average because I I happen to think you create who you are, you know, and it it ain't about money. It ain't about material things, because if you die, your whole family going to come and get your stuff because your husband going to give it to him. You can't take it with you. So. It's best to have a good husband who's average, if that's what it is, that takes care of you than to have a man whom we think is more money, better for us, but but got options are out there with the second or third woman or, or don't pay your ass no attention. What is wrong with us? OK, so this influence of this IG and this OnlyFans and these BBLs and all this stuff got us real dizzy. Right. Is that what's going on? That's what's going on. Mr. Scotland says, security boss, this is um, the method of sugar bomb. The method, she would run uh, run on kosher's show, but um, run when, when he began to challenge her thoughts and ask her to cam up. But um, I don't expect, I don't expect sugar bomb to cam up. And I actually started with her with the question. So um, I have no problem with sugar, sugar bomb sharing with us because I do want to hear what modern women think. And if this is the best that I can get for now, Sugar bump, thank you, because I do want to hear what you got. You girls are ladies, excuse me, are listening to and what you have been influenced by, because I wish so much I can influence you and tell you that life on the other side is better than the life that you are seeking. Much better. I have um, a companion. I have everything I need, everything I want. I'm not average, but there was a time when me and Mr. Boss had to work at it, but I had him to work with me. Being alone is not the play. Come on. Being alone is not the play. All you have to do is be intentional. Whatever that good man shares with you. If he's a good man, y'all will be, your marriage will be blessed. God, you can have anything it is you want, but you would want a good relationship with an outstanding foundation to take you from zero to 25. Average. What's wrong with being average? The, The bad thing is security boss. It, it, and I'm, I ain't trying to be funny, but I know it's probably going to be funny. It's a damn shame. These women be doing all this talking and go home at night, sit on the end of their bed, crying because they ain't got nobody to hold them at night. When you hear something in the dark, a loud bang in the dark, there's nobody to run to that door but you. Right? There's nothing. There's nothing. It's a shame that the rats in your wall are having more sex than you are. And you're sitting up here on these panels and women out here in the real world. We don't need no man. They influence like Cynthia G. You don't think that Cynthia G has a little Pookie Ray Ray stored off in the corner somewhere that she go meet off in the, in the, in the rich parts of the nice neighborhoods and go give him some of that thing and come back and tell you to hate him. Stop this madness. I want to know. Okay. So if I got average here, right. 
what is enough? What is enough? What is enough? Yes, I'm alone at night. Sugar bomb, what's enough? And and you didn't say, no, wait a minute. Is this really you, Sugar Bomb? If, are we, is she talking about herself? I thought yeah. she was talking about herself. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, she's, she's alone. She's okay with it. She's but okay Sugar Bomb, what is enough? I mean, if you don't want to be average with a man, what is what would we consider enough? I want to know that. Mr. Scotland say, if they go to Cynthia G or Paris Milan, then why not go to security boss? Because listen, security boss is not talking that foolishness. I'm talking about getting yourself a man and laying up under him at night. I'm telling you, Chantel, Simone, Chaz, you're right, which will be more help, more useful. Listen, I could tell you how to get that man with the money, but I still think you got to put in the work. Otherwise, you won't know what you got. You got, guess what? Oh, 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 black man. What about this? We're looking for the man that's not average, but are you willing to put all your money in the pot with him? Are you willing to put all your money in the same pot? Oh, yeah, my it. God. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Security boss, to answer your question, enough is not enough. Let me tell you why. I saw a video today. I'm going to send it to you and Mr. Boss. Uh, after I do my show tonight, I'll send it to you. She um, said she's being sarcastic. <laughs> a man bought his wife a yellow Corvette for her birthday. Mm-hmm. Put a nice bow on it. Beautiful car. Um, and walked her outside. And he said, baby, look what I got you for your birthday. She opened her eyes and said, this ain't the damn car I wanted. Why the fuck would you go buy this stupid ass car? And blah, 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 blah. This is the dumbest shit you ever did in your life. Why the fuck would you go? Do you take this motherfucker back? Blah, 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 blah. You know how they're buying this dumb ass? In front of everybody that was there to support her in her brand new car. I mean, when is enough enough? A man had the car, the yellow and black, black rims, clean Corvette, beautiful car. And she just cussed that man out like he was nothing. I'm telling you. Not the car no more. I, did he leave her? I would have left her ass. He told me, what kind of car you want? Man, shut up. It's over. I would have told yeah, her, you're, you're yeah, done. Nah, I'm you somewhere to stay. I, we done. I don't even know you. We're done. You're not oh, yeah. my wife. I don't Bye. even know you. That's Bye. crazy. In front of the people, she embarrassed him like that? Yes. Nah. Get nah. out of my face. You know, why would you buy this? You know I don't like that. I mean, jumping like she a dude. I'm like, what? So oh listen, black God. man, the Sousa says she wants three accounts. Oh, uh, okay. That's the new she got a man. Uh-oh. I'm because sure if she got, I'm gonna see what if she got a man. Let me see if he gonna deal with three accounts. The Sosa know I love her to death. I do. She wanna. She supports me all the time. But I just want to know if you got a man over there. Is he going to allow those three accounts? That's what I want to know. Okay, so Sugar Bump said, "I believe great finance, commitment, and communication are enough." In that order. Ooh. What is it? She said, fin she "Great finance, mm -hmm. commitment." And communication are enough. Mm -hmm. On who's in, on, on whose part? Because it seems like the woman want to sit at home and do nothing, while the I man is out doing in everything. In a relationship, though, this could make a relation a great make for a great relationship. Yeah, if her no, relationship has these components, then they will be all right. Yeah, they'll be all right. <laughs> you still, <laughs> yeah, they'll be all right. Black man, this is interesting. It is um, average a number expressed in the center of typical value in a set of data uh in a particular mode median most commonly you're right that's average but i'm just trying to figure i must assuming we have a number that we've placed on average when we say we don't want no average life i'm trying <laughs> to figure out what you know what's 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 next is it he high is. class is it he is ours and mine oh uh, okay we both work Hey, Sosa, what state are you in? What state? Put put in the chat. What state you in, baby? She's from another country, isn't she? Oh, is she? I hope. Well, she does. She she does have that. Like, uh, she's very pretty, young lady. But uh, the Sosa, put in that. Put where you where are you from? Where are you from? I, I want to see where, exactly where she's from. Switzerland. Wow. So listen, <laughs> it's so the Sosa. I, I've always wanted to visit Switzerland. I think it's really a beautiful it. place. However. Uh, do Switzerland have uh, dog pounds like where they rescue animals? Because if they do, if they do, I want you to go adopt the first big old dog you see, baby, because ain't no man uh, that's a real leader going to allow you to separate anything from him. I'm just saying. 
Oh, <laughs> Nate said, ignore the trolls until the Holy Spirit specifically says so. <laughs> Listen, guys, you know what, Black men, I appreciate you so much. Um, oh, this has all been sure. interesting for me. I'm learning. I would love to have some women that believe that they are and should be in power over their man. Come over to Security Boss's channel and just talk with me sometime and just share with me why they think the way that they do and why they don't want to be taken care of by their man. I want dearly to be taken care of by my man. I don't want to. I want to know somebody got my back. I want to be able to relax. I want to be able to do nothing. Like you just said, black man, I want to be able to do nothing and know my man got my back. But whatever he asked me to do, I'm willing to do that also. Dearly beloved. But I don't want to be the strong woman that takes care of everything. You know, I don't want to be the one that has to go out there and get that job because I got to have the 4,000 square foot home. I don't want to be that person. She said, I um, could never deal with a leader and his ego. Partnership is the future. Bullshit. So, DeSosa, yeah. why would a man have to be... Wait a minute, wait a minute. A man is meant to be the leader of your household, the head of your household. What? That's a quality of a man. What I could never deal with a leader of his, in his. Why would he have to have ego? There are very, there are some really humble men in this world. Really are. See, this is what I'm saying. Sometimes they haven't seen an example of a man that is humbling or that is humble. Too she controlling says, for me. Lord help us. Listen to me. It's a difference between a man that is controlling and a man that takes control. That's, those are two different things, uh, the social. I, I just want you to know that, baby, because what happens is, um, you said you, uh, I could deal with a partner because he's, uh, you know, partnership is the future. Listen, me and you are not equal. Partners is someone that's equal to you. If you want a partner, then you're a lesbian. Just like if a man wanted a partner, he's gay because you want the equal to you. A man is equal to me. That would make me gay if I wanted a partner. I, I would go be, you, you would have to be with a man. If a woman wants a partner, she would be with a woman. We're not partners. I'm the lead. You're the woman that's going to help me with whatever I need. We build together and we build something special like the example that you're seeing tonight. Security boss. And then you got Mr. Boss behind the camera. It's working. I don't understand how people can see the blueprint of how the pyramids was built and go buy some and buy some wood and try to replicate the shit. You see it right here. You see the blueprints. Follow the blueprint. And you'll end up where you need to be. I, I'm just tired of talking to people. It's I think we should approach it a different way. We should approach it as in what is it that you want? Because if I ask the question um, that does my life, well, you don't mean I know everything about my life, but does it seem like my life, my marriage is what you're looking for? You know, I've said and told just about everything that goes on in my life. You know, is that what you're looking for? Or do you want, does your marriage need to look different? You know, if your marriage needs to look different, tell me how your marriage, how do you want your marriage to look? Exactly. Maybe that's how we need to approach it that way, black man. We need to approach it the back, the end from the beginning. What do you want your marriage to look like? And then we'll figure out how to accomplish it. Because obviously they don't want what I have. Because a man being... Um, a covering, a protector, and a provider for his wife. If that looks controlling, then we got some issues because I want to know what's controlling about those things. Right. And if we're partners, that means we're equal to each other. And if you want equality, when when somebody grab you behind your neck and throw you into a wall and rob you, don't call me because you're equal to me. You got the same strength as me. You got more power than me. You can get up out that chokehold. Shit, so don't listen, call me. Sugar Bomb said, I'm no Cinderella. I'm no C Cinderella. I don't need saving, although I may pretend to for the right man. Hmm. Okay. So you're saying you don't need saving, right? Oh, we moved on. Okay. You guys are talking about believers. I'm not a Christian. Oh. Help me. Okay. Help. Well, well, marriage is not for you then. Because right. marriage is an you institution. Yeah. yeah. Marriage is an institution, a biblical institution. Right. But but you do believe in your creator. You do connect with God, don't you? So you still know your purpose in life, right? So, you know. You know what I don't understand, security boss? I know I know, uh, Mr. Boss ready to go rub your feet for the rest of the night. But I have a question. Yes, sir. It's, it's amazing to me 
how people can say they're not believers or they're atheists or they don't want to believe in something of something that holds them accountable. Right. Yeah. But then how is it? How is it that when you go outside in the cold and it's 30 below zero and you stay out there too long, your body knows to take all the blood from your toes and your fingers and put it in your organs to keep you alive before how does it how is it that the, the sun knows when to come the, i mean the, the the earth knows how to rotate for the sun to come up sun to go down moon to go you think all this just happens by chance the shit just it just one day it just happened i mean we we need to start getting to the realistic point of things things are happening in this world today that people just cannot explain it is just it's it's an amazing uh she said they, uh, make, no, that, they make that religion instead of being relationship relationship with the, their creator that is st strictly relationship see if you take the time to be in relationship with the creator and all the things that he has to offer because he's in all things trees included then you will get more purposeful for your life and, and things will make more sense for your life and then you will start seeing why he did these things why the man was made why the woman was made from the man or who did it when he did it, the purpose for doing it and all of that. Men and women are not equal. We can't operate the same. Exactly. Come on. Come on. That's what we've been talking about. But if you don't have that relationship, but see, you know what? I'm kind of lying to myself because some things are just innate, innately in you and you cannot deny them. Yep. You know, so for me to say that people um, don't know, I don't know if that is even fair. Now I can say that they could be moving so fast or can be uh, blinded by the one that, that, uh, what orchestrated that letter that you read earlier, you know, yeah. the one <laughs> that might be blinded by that, but. Right. And, and, and sugar bomb say women are better. Yes. Women are better. However, um, married women like security balls. She's lived her life. She's aging gracefully. She has a husband. Her stress levels are probably down. Blood pressure, not even a, an issue. Uh, wakes up to a man every day, calls up with him, takes care of him, nurtures him. He nurtures her. Uh, she reciprocates him. He reciprocates her. And look how she's smiling and how lovely she looks. You, hell, you, if Security Boss didn't tell you your age, you probably couldn't even figure it out. And that's what I'm talking about right now. What happens is, what's going to happen is, uh, sugar bomb. When you say women are better, yes, women are better, but women also have an expiration date. Uh, better at what? Though? What are we better at? I don't know what she's talking about, but women have an expiration date for marriage, expiration date for children. Right now, if I turn fifty-three years old, I can put a baby in a twenty-three-year-old. At you, at fifty-three years old, it's not going to put no baby in the world for nobody. And so we need to understand that you have an expiration date. Stop playing because what's going to happen when you get forty-five and fifty? You're going to be like. Damn, I should have married Jonathan. Shit. Now Jonathan. Jonathan married four kids and he doing well. Damn it, I should have built with him. And now I'm over here by myself, still in this apartment, water leaking, tub leaking. I'm in the bed by myself. My dog won't stop barking. It ain't nothing in the refrigerator. Here comes somebody breaking in. Damn, ain't got nobody to protect me. Faulted in there dripping, toilet leaking. Toilet leaking. I ain't trying to fool with it. Good Jesus, have mercy. What, guess what? Is it um? How do you pronounce her name? DeSosa. Yeah. DeSosa. Um, my marriage and my life, my purpose here is not about happiness. Uh. Um, I don't think it ever has been, but I'm quite satisfied with my life. But whatever, however God leads me, is what I'm willing to do. Me even talking to you is purposeful. So oh. it ain't even about happiness. And I hope you're listening. I talked to her the other day when I was over um on your panel, not on your panel, but in your chat. So yeah. Um, nothing for me is by chance. So happiness is not it. That's, that's something that comes and goes, you know, I, I could be up one moment and the next moment I think about something I forgot to do and I'll be down. So it's not about that for me. <laughs> not at all. But listen, guys, I appreciate y'all so much. Desusa, please come back. Sugar bomb. Please come back. You know, you're welcome. Queen Smiley. You, you be burning her. What you call it? The night owl, the candle. Yeah. <laughs> you come late, but I appreciate you being here. But ladies, um, um go ahead, Brian. Go ahead, Blake. No, no, no. I was just saying, if guys, right now after this show, uh, I'll be starting my show at nine in ten minutes uh, at nine thirty. Uh, the name of the show we're going into some real serious this week uh, on tonight and tomorrow. But tomorrow it's what's go on, what goes on in this house stays in this house. We're going to talk about the trauma that happens that nobody talks about tonight. 
Uh, we're going to, that's going to be a segue into that. Uh, mama, the name of the show tonight is mama. He touched me. What happens next will shock you. So we're going to talk about that tonight too, as well. So uh, we're going to end this and um, chat. Y'all have been outstanding. I appreciate you all. And I will let's also continue to live my life. I want you to, to also, but I especially want you to be satisfied and purposeful, not alone. But y'all have a good night. Black it's man, black, I'll see you soon. Oh. It's the Black Man Unfiltered. Somebody in the chat asks. It's the Black Man Unfiltered Network. Just type in Black Man Unfiltered Network. It'll pop right up. It's man, you said that fast. Goodness gracious, I thought I talked fast. Oh, oh, my bad. Black Man Unfiltered Network, ladies and gentlemen. The go. Black Man Unfiltered Network. Absolutely. Y'all have a good night. We'll see y'all soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. He's screaming out with the best of intentions. I don't get it. Why do you always got to ask me to stay? Why you always got to go? Playing house, this ain't a home with your soul on the road. Say, why you always got to go? Playing house, this ain't a home with your soul on the road. See, I've been lost in my thoughts, and my thoughts say too are scared to usher your off. Sorry, Mom, I just thought you were my world. Now you're not. And I'm just sitting, smoking, sloping in the days Cause my days ain't been the same since I drove here the I remember the way you wrote letters in blue ink You and me was in love Think about what your crew think I know your moms probably think I'm a bastard Your pops probably wanna beat my to death and kick up in my casket But I got sick of fighting, bickering, fussing Over nothing, cussing Instead of been watching the death of discussions that we once had Days that we once spent in the backseat of our cars We the poets at sunset It's funny how love can fall out the foreground Get pushed into the back of your mind We used to twist his bliff and laugh and relax and Are you crying? And I'm trying to find the reason So I ask, does forever ever happen? Or is it always fade to black? I can't say No, I always gotta go Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul on the road. I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul on the road.